today's session of Wind of Change. Oluwa today at your life is my name. I'm the senior pastor of World Shakers International Christian Center at Dwekiti, Nigeria. And today, by the special grace of God, we shall be examining the topic that says, Awesome God. Awesome God. Our Bible passage shall be taken from the book of Psalm 147, verses 4 and 5. Psalm 147, verses 4 to 5. He telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. Amen. Awesome God. Now, I just want us to take notes at a few points as we progress into this teaching. Number one thing is that the manifestation of God in the lives and situations of his children is determined by the level of the knowledge that they have of him. The manifestation of God in the lives and situations of his children is directly proportional to the revelational knowledge that they have of him. So that means God will only manifest himself as what you know him to be. Daniel 11 verse 32 b says, And they that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. So it is your knowledge of God that determines the manifestation of God in your life. So God only manifests himself as you want to know him to be. If you know him to be a healer, he will manifest his healing power in your life. If you know him to be a provider, he will manifest his power of provision. If you know him to be your deliverer, he will manifest his power of deliverance in your life. So it is important that you must upgrade and you must update your knowledge of God. Because God will only manifest himself in your life according to what you know him to be. Then we must also understand that God is limited by what you know. God stops where your knowledge stops. So I mean, God actually manifests himself as what you don't know him to be. You will never see God manifesting himself as what you don't know him to be. So it's very, very important that you must know who God is before you can see his manifestation in your life. Then God can do the impossible. That's another thing about the awesomeness of God. God can do the impossible. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, say the things that are not possible with men, they are possible with God. The Bible says the same thing in Mark 10, 27, that the things that are not possible with men, they are possible with God. And Luke 18, 27 repeats the same thing, that things that are not possible with men, they are possible with God. And Luke 1, 37 now says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So I will refer to God as an impossibility specialist. God is an impossibility specialist. He specializes in making impossible situations to become possible. He brings something out of nothing. He brings hero out of zero. And he brings nobody out of somebody. So that is my God for you. That is the awesomeness of our God. Now what does it mean to be awesome? Number one, it simply means to be worthy of fear, respect and admiration. To be worthy of fear, respect and admiration. And to, it also means to be extremely good. And I know you agree with me by now that God is worthy of our fear, is worthy of our respect, and is worthy of our admiration. And you also agree with me by now that God is extremely good. Our God is extremely good. Now, who is the awesome God? The awesome God is the God that does excellently well that which makes him to be worthy of our fear, respect, and admiration. The awesome God is the God that does exactly, in fact, he does excellently well that which will make us to fear him, to respect him, and to adore him, and to admire him. And I pray for you as your enemy today, that which God will do in your life, that will make people to fear him, to respect him, and to admire him. He will do it before the end of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, we can also call the awesome God as the God that is beyond description. And if you look at it very well, you can't describe our God. He is more than your understanding. He is more than your knowledge. He knows more than you. If you can't even understand him. He is Jehovah I can't comprehend. Amen. And uh, well, today by the special grace of God, I think we will stop here today. The next time we meet, we will continue on this series. And I promise you, we will have a better time together again with ourselves. Till I come your way again next week, Ulua Tuli is my name. I will say God bless you. Keep winning.